This is another version of the Atombot robot that's um, on my YouTube channel. This is um, the second major version. The big difference here is the custom built wooden chassis with the multi-directional tri-wheel setup. Harvested these motors and the wheels from a robot from a thrift store that my buddy picked up. And constructed real quick a very simple wooden frame. I don't know how clear I'm able to get it holding it up like this. The battery pack, 12 volt battery pack, fits right underneath. It powers the motor driver shield for an Arduino. It powers all three motors. <clears throat> this is an N270 netbook, the very same one that's featured in the other Atombot video. It's been harvested for this new version. I have a USB fan hooked up here just to uh, keep it cool. I'm sure the Atom would survive without it, but I'm kind of paranoid. It's running Linux Mint, uh, Ubuntu variant, if you're not familiar with it. Real simple. It's running a Python script that starts on boot up to actually control the entire thing. So now, on the desktop, we'll start up the actual client app that will connect to it over the network. It's got a static IP address. I also have a USB joystick hooked up like the other Atombot. And this way, we'll be able to issue it commands. Really, the M command for manual movements is the only one that's working right now. And that turns control over to the joystick for it to actually move around. We should be able to have... The left and right are actually timed, so there's multiple hits on the joystick to get it to move all the way around. But forward and backward are uh, infinite, so there's a button on the joystick that actually is stopped. So you can go as far forward or as far back as you would like. And then just hit the stop button. Real basic. Um, there w I was trying to get the strafe down. The multi-directional wheels gives you that strafe. Um, I'll try to demo it now. It's not complete, but we'll see. Yeah, see, it's not very. It's not exactly straight strafing as you expect. That's due to the wheels are not 120 degrees from each other, like they're supposed to be in a tribot configuration like that. I messed up. I'll be making a new one, but just to show what the progress is. That I have so far on it. Um, there's a couple cool little software features. There's HAL Voices, um, HAL 9000, that are in it as well. And you can press the trigger button to go back to. This is goodbye there. To say to go back to the command menu. Um, the only really cool command now is the B command, and that gives you the uh, actual battery level on the netbook. So as you see, 81 percent. That way you can monitor, see how low it gets. There is an actual LED indicator on the netbook, but once it gets low, it just starts flashing amber, and you're like, well, how much time do I have left? Now you can always query that battery percentage just to see how low you can go. There's really no other commands. There's no autonomous roving built in yet. There is no webcam like the other Atombot. This is just the getting the new platform down, the trials and errors of that tribot configuration with the multi-directional wheels which is definitely a new thing for me so I apologize for the bad lighting the jerky camera motions but hopefully it'll be somewhat entertaining or interesting to see the, the new version of Adam Bot doing work but uh, thanks for watching